So in this quick film, we're going to be looking at one of the new features in Photoshop 2020 released in June. This is uh, looking specifically at pattern rotation. Uh, for many photographers, perhaps it's not really one thing that you'd use, but if you're looking at uh, actually uh, using anything where you've created a pattern or using the pattern to be able to just go and uh, rotate things will kind of make it uh, a little bit easier in the kind of design. So I've just knocked up a simple kind of quick poster here called the Big Swim. And uh, I'm using two of the water pattern fe uh, features. So just to kind of demonstrate um, how the rotation works to begin with. If you just double click onto the pattern, I'll show you how to put a pattern on now in a minute. As I uh, either change the angle uh, by just dragging it uh, through, we'll see the actual background uh, layer uh, move, or the background pattern, I should say, actually move its direction to obviously throw the angle out to give it a little bit more kind of... Uh, uh, different shape and feel. So we'd have to do this conventionally in the rotation. So we used to have to actually work with a bigger pattern, control T to free transform and rotate with it and things really. And it would be kind of just hit and miss all the time. But by at least using the pattern rotation, we've got a little bit of control. So um, I've even got a, another pattern uh, within the text itself in fact. So if I kind of just uh, click into the pattern uh, on the actual text you can see here it's got a different rotation. I'll just drag it down again and you'll see that kind of swap. So it's a, a kind of a quick way for us to be able to work within the image and uh, as far as uh, the pattern and rotation is concerned of course here I'm just affecting a different color on top and a uh, levels adjust adjustment so I'm just kind of creating a little bit more of a, a deeper blue color and obviously a lighter kind of look and feel but the main thing is the rotation of the actual pattern so let's uh, kind of delete that bottom one and let's go in and create a new one. So just clicking on to the new layer adjustment and clicking on to pattern. And then it's within here, you can either go and grab a pattern that you've created or one that is actually installed within Photoshop. So just clicking into the different um, pattern options here. I quite like this mosaic uh, water background. Not a massive fan of this kind of uh, teal kind of color, but the blue one I do really like and things really. So just going to press OK to that. And um, of course, what I've done there is just put the pattern on. But if at the same time I kind of click it and I rotate it, and I can do this all in one, of course. So as I'm choosing the pattern that I want, I can go in and basically add the rotation to the actual uh, pattern itself right at source. So again, for the photographers amongst you, probably not a huge kind of benefit, but for those looking to add a little bit more graphic design in, it really does actually save that one kind of quick step in having to uh, free uh, to free transform a quick tweak, tweak here and there with the pattern fill and the new ang angle rotation.